everyone welcome to Biolified by Polony and in today's video we will know what is vaccination I know you all must be aware of this uh, word vaccination okay and it is a very familiar word that you have been hearing since your childhood now see what we will know in this video we will know what are the characteristics of vaccination a little bit about its history then we will know what are the classification how vaccine how vaccines are classified okay all these things will be discussed in a very much brief manner with you guys so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video this very first slide we will know very briefly what is immunoprophylaxis okay now the term immunoprophylaxis let's break it into two halves okay First, the term immuno. Immuno matlab kya hai? Immuno is something which is related to our immunity, our body's uh, immune system, okay? Ya immune, uh, humare body ka jo immune, matlab humare body ka jo uh, power hai, okay? It is something related to that immunity thing, okay? Next, prophylaxis, okay? So, pro out here means before, okay? Pro, it is a very common thing, you already know, matlab before. And phylaxis, okay? It's the art of guarding, theek hai? So, if we this word, ko pura se jode, then what we will know, it is the use, okay, it is the use of vaccine or any antibody, okay, which is our body mein provided, hai, okay, which is given to our body and in response to that, our body, you know, our body gives a immune uh, response, okay, our body, ko, usse jo hota hai, our body gives an immune response which helps our body to get protection against that particular type of uh, you say you can say the particular type of viral disease okay this is about it now immunoprophylaxis is further classified into active and passive and under active comes your vaccination and immunization i hope this slide is clear to you it is uh, and please read the things which is given in this slide i'm not explaining that because you already know and i have already told you what is written out here so i hope it is clear to you okay Yes, this slide is basically dealing about the history of vaccination. So I will tell you a very short story. What uh, this um, this physician has noticed, okay, Edward Jenner. What did he notice? He noticed that the people who were suffering or who already had cowpox, okay, they were immune to smallpox. ठीक है, smallpox उनको नहीं होता था जिनको already cowpox हो चुका था. तो उन्होंने क्या किया? For primary defense, okay, he already noticed this thing among his patients that the people who are getting infected with cowpox, they don't get smallpox, okay. So, what did he do? What did he, do? he actually, he inoculated that, okay, then he made a vaccine out of it, okay. Vaccine karke, unhone wo cowpox ka vaccine jo hai, jo smallpox jisse ki na ho, unhone healthy patients ko wo cheez diya, jisse ki aage ja ke smallpox ho na band ho gaya, okay. So those people were protected from smallpox, which was a very, very deadly disease at that time. So in the year 1796, okay, uh, Dr. Edward Jenner, okay, he created the world's first successful vaccine and he found that the people infected with cowpox, okay, were immune to your smallpox, okay. Now next, Louis Pasteur, okay, in the year 1872, okay, he successfully prevented rabies, okay, rabies is another very deadly disease, okay through your post exposure vaccine okay or uske baad aata hai in the year 1919 and 1918 okay the spanish flu pandemic okay jab jab aap word pandemic dekhenge uh, just keep it in mind that it is affecting a large scale of people okay like it is affecting the entire world okay you already know that the uh, worldwide eradication of smallpox okay this was only possible due to this vaccination okay दूसरा जो है elimination of uh, polio and tetanus ठीक है polio and tetanus जो भी uh, which is again uh, you know a very deadly disease is उसका भी eradication जो होता है उसका भी eradication आपका जो है vaccination के through ही हुआ है ठीक है देखो next in this uh, okay so uh, in the Spanish flu okay Spanish flu में क्या हुआ 20 to 50 million people worldwide okay uh, where you know Shoulders, okay, shoulders, jo the, hai? they were, you know, getting this vaccine, okay, so this influenza vaccine, jo tha, wo bahut hi important vaccine ho chuka tha for the US Army, okay, because the Spanish flu was again a very deadly disease. Next, you see, in the year 1971, okay, measles vaccine, okay, measles, okay, it was recently combined with your mumps and rubella, oh, MMR, bolte hai musko, okay into a single vaccine so with this single vaccine okay dr murez hillman okay he has discovered this vaccine jisse ki mumps missiles and you know 
rubella okay these three diseases or three viral diseases could be controlled with the help of one vaccine okay next in the year 80 1988 okay world health organization or who has launched the global polio eradication initiative okay so this is about uh, this slide and there is some additional information also i urge you to go through that information okay or I am, again i am sending you this also see in the year 1999 the first vaccine was against rota virus okay these are the important information in the year uh, 2016 the success of mening uh, meningitis vaccine was also there so meningitis was again uh, a very popular vaccine okay in the year 2019 okay ebola vaccine for use at countries at high risk okay africa was very badly affected okay uh, with ebola viruses so uske liye bhi jo hai bahut acha vaccine uh, was developed next you see in the year 2021 okay so world health organization it prioritized vaccination against covid 19 across the continent so covid 19 i don't have to say anything much about it because it is a very recent case in front of us and due to this um, double vaccine or booster vaccine or you know the double triple vaccine now of, of covid shield or you know co vaccine or whichever vaccine anybody has got it i think i think everybody is almost vaccinated in our country right now so we are now you know we are uh, uh, like we are protected against this covid 19 also so see uh, this is a history about it i want you to at least have a, a cool memorization about all this okay a, a very brief understanding and just uh, you know just memorize it it is nothing uh, very difficult to memorize this slide so i hope this slide is clear and if you guys get any you know kind of confusion or any kind of if you have any question or queries okay do let me know in the comment section below so i will uh, understand that what are the problems that you are facing okay so that is all about the slide this slide we will know okay what are the different approaches for vaccine design okay like it is not a very you know a very important part but yeah still you need to know it okay like the vaccine development okay there are four ways how it is developed first is your intact pathogen so isme kya hota hai heat killed theek hai agar hum uh, heat killed uh, vaccine use kare theek hai usme kya hota hai heat killed pathogen okay heat killed pathogen or chemically denatured okay chemically denatured or you can simply see the inactive vaccine or inactive pathogen theek hai it is acquainted by growth condition or your genetic manipulation theek hai this is a very uh, you know familiar way that you all must be knowing ki hum pathogen ko hi use karte hain in vaccine to protect ourselves against that particular viral pathogen or viral disease theek hai ye sabse pehla point aa gaya next point is your sub unit vaccines sub unit vaccines can be your recombinant proteins okay or your synthetic peptides okay these are your recombinant proteins okay the proteins which are made okay by genetic engineering theek hai hum wo proteins ko use karte hain aur synthetic some peptides okay long chains of proteins we are using it okay to protect ourselves against that particular viral pathogen next are vaccine vehicles okay vaccine vehicles mein okay these are the approaches okay next is your live vector jo use hota hai vaccine vehicles mein it could be viral for example in adenoviruses or it could be bacterial in case of your mycobacteria okay next is your dna immunization okay this is simply an injection of your plasmid dna theek hai dna jo plasmid hota hai wo inject karke jo hai development hota hai ek vaccine next see the characteristics of a effective vaccine theek hai नंबर वन सेफ्टी ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि जो वैक्सीन हमें प्रोटेक्ट करे उसी से हमको डिजीज हो जाए ठीक है वी नीड अ प्रॉपर प्रोटेक्शन एंड द सेफ्टी मस्ट बी वी नो मस्ट बी टेकन इन कंसिडरेशन दैट द वैक्सीन मस्ट बी वेरी सेफ टू यूज सो दैट इट डजेंट कॉजेस एनी डिजीजेस सेकेंड यू सी कॉस्ट ओके कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव होना चाहिए ऐसा नहीं है कि द वैक्सीन इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव ओके दैट द नॉर्मल पीपल और द मिडिल क्लास मिडिल क्लास पीपल ओके और द पुअर पीपल दे कॉन्ट इवन अफोर्ड इट ओके दे कॉन्ट इवन यू नो गेट द वैक्सीन टू प्रोटेक्ट दमसेल्स फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम द वायरल डिजीज ओके विच एवर इज यू नो विच एवर इज स्प्रेडिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ओके next you see protection okay the protection major uh, protective measure must be taken of course you know there must be a systematic way in how you produce uh, the vaccine okay it must not you know it must not you know give you any kind of zits okay next is your long lasting effect of course it must be long lasting okay you know b cell or t cell ko hame body mein produce karne ka time lena chahiye next is your administration which must be very effective and to a large scale of people so that is all about this 
vaccine department so i got i hope you got this slide well and uh, please go through the notes okay whatever is given out here let's move on to the next slide now this slide talks about the classification of vaccines sabse pehle aata hai aapka life attenuated vaccines jo ye vaccines jo hain ओके व्हाट इज़ हैपनिंग द पैथोजन जो है हमारे बॉडी पे जाके ये मल्टीप्लाई होता है और उसके अगेंस्ट जो है हमारे बॉडी से यू नो एंटीबॉडीज आर रिलीज ओके दैट इज़ हेल्पिंग अस गेटिंग इम्यूनाइजेशन और वैक्सीनेटेड फ्रॉम द पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ वायरल डिजीज ओके इट इज़ इट इज़ कंसिडर जनरली यू नो मच मच यू नो मच मच पावरफुल दैन अदर टाइप ऑफ वैक्सीन इसके अंदर आता है आपका बी सी जी डेट प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट अगेंस्ट यूर ट्यूबर किलोसिस ओके दैन ओरल पोलियो वैक्सीन ओ पी वी एम एम आर जस्ट नाउ वी रेड अबाउट इट ठीक है लाइफ एटीन्यूएटेड इन्फ्लुएंजा वैक्सीन दूसरा है आपका येल्लो फीवर सेवनटीन डी वैक्सीन नेक्स्ट आता है आपका चिकन पॉक्स वैक्सीन अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वैक्सीन दैन रोटा वायरस वैक्सीन दैन योर टाइफॉइड वैक्सीन नेक्स्ट ईयर इज योर इनएक्टिवेटेड और द किल्ड वैक्सीन ओके जो हमारे बॉडी में अंदर जाके और मल्टीप्लाई नहीं हो सकता है ठीक है वैसे वैक्सीन जो यू नो ऑलरेडी किल्ड और इनएक्टिवेटेड स्टेज में होते हैं या कॉन्जुकेटेड स्टेज में होते हैं सो दो वैक्सीन आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस लिस्ट टाइफॉइड वैक्सीन रेबिस वैक्सीन आई पी वी ठीक है हेपेटाइटिस ए वैक्सीन और किल्ड इन्फ्लुएंजा वैक्सीन दूसरा है आपका यू नो टॉक्सॉइड जो बैक्टीरियल का एक्सोटॉक्सिन है ठीक है एक्सोटॉक्सिन है और यू कैन से द इनएक्टिवेटेड टॉक्सिन इज यूज इन दिस केस ओके इसमें आता है आपका डिथेरिया टॉक्सॉइड और टिटेनस टॉक्सॉइड ओके डीपीटी वैक्सीन इज अगेन अ कम्बाइंड वैक्सीन ओके डीपीटी जो है आपका डिथेरिया ओके पर्टोसिस और टिटेनस का जो है कम्बाइंड वैक्सीन है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस लाइफ तो गाइज इन दिस लाइन यू विल नो वट इज़ द नेशनल इम्यूनाइजेशन स्केड्यूल ओके मतलब कौन से वैक्सीन कब दिए जाते हैं ठीक है और कौन से एरिया पे दिए जाते हैं बॉडी के दैट इज़ ऑल्सो गिवेन ओके वट इज़ द मैक्सिमम एज लिमिट ऑफ दिस वैक्सीन ओके दैन द रूट ओके किस रूट से ये दिया जाता है डायल्यूशन कितना होता है डोजेस कितने एम के होते हैं इट इज़ ऑल अबाउट इट ओके इट इज़ जस्ट फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन आई डोंट थिंक सो यू नीड टू मेमोराइज इट बट या आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि एटलीस्ट लाइक द प्रेगनेंट वुमेन को कौन सा वैक्सीन दिया जाता है जिस द नेम ऑफ दिस वैक्सीन फॉर इन्फेंट्स कौन से वैक्सीन हैं जो कि यू नो अर्ली एक्सेस में दिए जाते हैं दैन फॉर चिल्ड्रेन विच आर द वैक्सीन सो दिस यू नो दिस स्लाइड इज गिवन जस्ट फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन आई इफ यू फाइन एनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो कन्फ्यूजन दैन Uh, do let me know in the comments i don't think so it is a very you know difficult slide you will it is self understanding slide so i'm not explaining this slide to you guys so guys yeah that's all about the vaccination video today agar aapko koi bhi jagah pe koi bhi problem ya dikkat hoti hai then please do let me know in the comment section below so if you're liking my efforts and the content and the detail okay whatever is given the notes that is provided out here then please to like to this channel okay don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and share it with the people who need such videos so i hope you like it thank you so much have a great day ahead bye bye